Tell me why when I see a viral edit nowadays, I keep seeing a common pattern. Outside the fact, of course, that they're just basic zoom edits and still manage to pull a life-changing amount of views. It's the fact that almost everyone here is using this weird, dotty, but kind of catchy transition like this one, this one, and this one. You're probably thinking, though, yeah, that's clean, but there's no way I could figure that out. Wait, did they really mask out hundreds of tiny dots on a black photo? No, of course not. What kind of re- would do that but luckily enough for you today i'm going to show you how to make these three viral halftone transitions you'll commonly see in all those viral edits and hey if you stick to the end i'll show you how i got that really clean color correction so before we do get into it make sure you have either the sapphire plugin installed or the bcc plugin both plugins have the halftone effect we're going to use so either one will work and if you happen to not have any of them installed don't worry you can find them in my discord server in the description the first one i'm going to show you is the most basic one it sure is simple but it's a nice little touch that you can always throw into your edits with ease. So start by making an adjustment layer by clicking Control alt y on Windows. But if you happen to have rich parents, then click Command, Option, Y. It should be on top of the two clips you want to transition. And then just go ahead and trim it so it's as long as you want the transition to last for. Or you could just copy the way I'm doing it as well. And I already do have some high quality clips cut up of Batman. But if you also want the link to the same editing scene pack I'm using as well, I'll be sure to put the same one I used in the description. Go up to the Effects and Presets panel and search up Path. And depending on what plugins you have, will vary what shows up. Since I have both the BCC and Sapphire plugin installed, I have both versions of this effect. You could probably follow the tutorial with both effects, but I'm going to personally use the us underscore halftone effect. So now just drop it onto the adjustment layer we made a second ago. And now let's adjust the effect. Now this is the main settings that you'll probably want to adjust. Color 1 will change the color of the halftone background. So for example, if you want to go for a serial killer style, changing it to red may look good with your edit. But for this case, I'm just going to keep it to white. Dots later will adjust the brightness of how it looks. So if you think it looks a little too dark or a little too bright, you can bring those values up and down according to your liking. And lastly, dots frequency and dots angle will change how the dots look. Moving dots frequency will make the dots smaller or bigger, and dots angle will change the direction in which they're lined in. I just move these around a little bit here and there to my liking, and poof, after the effect is done with. Now let's just make the animation. Make sure you have the adjustment layer selected and click T on your keyboard. So this little opacity thing pops up. Go directly in the middle between the two clips and click on the stopwatch to make a keyframe. Go several keyframes back and change the value to zero. Now jump back to that middle keyframe and then go a bit further than you were with the other side. And then just change that to zero again. Now select all those keyframes and easy ease them by clicking F9. Then select one of them and open up this graph editor. And then make a graph similar to the one I'm making here. Once you're done, just go ahead and close the graph. And as you can see, I kind of did just readjust them around a little bit so some keyframes would last longer than the others because it did look a little fast to me. Also, feel free to do the same if you think it's needed. Sick. Good job at making that basic half on transition. But that was basic, so let's get into some more advanced stuff that you can use to expand your transition selections. Next transition I'm going to be showing you is this half tone overlay pop thing, and I even used it in that viral salesman edit I made a couple months back. But now finally, I'll get in depth on how I made it. So start by selecting your second clip, and then cut the first frame of it just like how I did here. Then copy it by clicking Ctrl C or Command C, and then we'll just undo the cut by clicking Ctrl Z or Command Z. And now let's just paste that right back, so click Ctrl or Command Z. So now we have this in which we're going to use for the overlay for the pop and the half tone. So start by left clicking on it, time, freeze frame, and then extend it out to how long you want it to be. And make sure it kind of looks like the way how I have it formatted here. Now we gotta kind of cut him out and get rid of his background. So first pre-compose it, then go up here and click on the mask tool. Then you'll have this little pen thing, so just go ahead and start making dots and cutting out by tracing around your character. Kind of how I'm doing it right here. Don't worry if it's not perfect, because it really doesn't have to be. Like, look at what I'm doing there. The general idea is, just make sure the main part is cut out. And when you're done, make sure you connect the last point with the first point you made. Kind of how I did here, so your background will just disappear now. And because some of my masks didn't really look too in place, I just moved them around a little bit. Feel free to do the same too, if you think it's neat. Jump to the start of the overlay we just made. Click P on your keyboard and make a keyframe by clicking the stopwatch next to position and make sure the keyframe is at the last visible frame now go all the way to the start of the overlay and drag the first set of values down so you cannot see the overlay anymore now easy easy these keyframes open the graph and copy the same one i make here and oh yeah do not forget to enable motion blur and as you can see right here i really quickly just freeze framed it again because i wanted the duration to be longer and i moved around a couple of the keyframes so if you think yours also looks a little too short go for it now we have the animation done with let's just actually add the half tone effect. So I'm just going to use S underscore half tone again and go ahead and adjust the effect in however way you like it. I kind of just made mine similar to the way I did it in the last part. Okay, now these next parts are optional, but you can apply drop shadow to the overlay too if you feel like it's necessary. This, in my opinion, will just make it pop out more. Honestly, kind of look a bit more sharp. And if you really, really want 
to go the extra mile, you can add a little fade in with some opacity keyframes, just kind of how I did here. You made that transition so easily. Now I have one last one to show you. So first, start by making an adjustment layer by clicking Control alt y or Command Option y Now cut it down to a similar duration in which I'm making it here. Then go up to the effects and presets and apply the halftone effect of your choice. And of course, mess around with those settings to your liking. Now go ahead and split it right in between the two clips. And on the adjustment layer that's over the second clip, we're going to add a quick opacity animation too. So select it and click T on your keyboard. Make sure you're on the first frame of the adjustment layer. Click on the opacity stopwatch to make a keyframe. Then go all the way to the end and change the value to zero. I'll easy ease them by clicking F9 and then just copy this same graph I made. Now go to the first part of the adjustment layer, click T, and then just turn down the opacity to 50. Now go up here to the square mask thingy-majiggy. And if it isn't a square, then just keep clicking on the Q until it changes into one. And double click it so it makes a mask. And then this little mask thingy should also pop up under the adjustment layer. And I want you to go ahead and click on that drop down box. Now make sure you're at the end of the adjustment layer, the keyframe mask path. Now just jump to the very start of the adjustment layer, double click on the edge of the mask, and then drag the bottom and the top into the middle evenly, just like how I'm doing it here. Now go ahead and easy ease those two keyframes we just made. Open the graph and follow what I do. Now once you're done, if you want to, you can also go down here and adjust the mask feather, which will just make the edges of the halftone seem less rough and flow a bit better in my opinion. Now go ahead and make a solid layer by clicking Control Y or Command Y, put the color to black, and make sure that it's on top of both the adjustment layers. From here, just go ahead and cut it to the similar length that I have here. I'll search and apply CC Jaws to the solid, and then go ahead and just drag this completion value really high so we can actually see the effect. And just turn this height thingy to zero. Now from here, make sure you're directly in the middle of both clips and keyframe the completion at around 80. Now go to about right when the adjustment layer mask starts and turn it up to 100. Then go to the end of the second clip side and go to right about when the halftone effect is still barely visible. Let's just turn the completion to 100 again. Now from here, easy ease all three of those keyframes and copy this graph I make. I also just decided to move around this keyframe a bit to my liking. Alright, so you're practically done with this transition. Just one last cherry on top I'm gonna add is a simple ripple dissolve transition, which was very simple to do. I just applied the effect on an adjustment layer and, uh... Quick note, don't apply the adjustment layer on top of any other effect. Yeah, so I just made a little quick ripple dissolve transition, which I also did make a few different versions of a while back in a free editing pack, which if you're interested, I'll show you how to get that in the end of the video. And if you wanted to add in that, you, my friend, have made that very clean halftone transition. But there is one important thing that I did leave out. You got it, the quality. In this tutorial, I used my realism color correction, which makes your clip look like this to this. If you want to check that out, go down to my pay hip in the description. Unfortunately, I haven't released this one I just showed you yet, but if you do want to get notified and get huge exclusive discounts when I do drop some new presets, you can make sure you're one of them right here. Oh crap, but wait. Did you still need some of those free presets that I mentioned I did a giveaway on, which included the Ripple Dissolve preset I used a minute ago? Well, luckily for you, you can get them all for free right here in this video for the cost of nothing. <laughs>